Hello everyone, welcome to my series on VBScript programming and today we are going to discuss on operators in VBScript. Let's start by creating a small text file and we'll name the text file operators.vbs VBS is VBScript extension. Right click and open this file in Notepad++. You can open in any editor software. I prefer Notepad++ because the language automatically shows the color codes. Now let's discuss the arithmetic operators first. So in VBScript we use the single quotation for comments. Now when we declare variables in VBScript we use the dim keyword. VBScripts don't have any specific data type uh, restrictions. We can declare any variables using comma multiple variables and the data type of the variable is assumed by the value of the variable. So the same variable can be assigned as a numeric or as a string. Now let's assign 20 to B and let's say C equal to A plus B. Message box C. So message box is used for you know echoing a prompt on the VB script. So we say message box C. So the value of C will be prompted to the user to our folder and run the code and it says 30. Okay, let's remove the addition sign and put a subtraction sign over here and run the code it says minus 10. So 10 minus 20 is minus 10. Now we remove this by putting an asterisk sign for multiplication and this gives 200. Similarly, we give a slash for division and this gives 0 0.5. Now let's try the mod operator. Mod is basically modulus. It gives the remainder of the division. So if I put 3 over here, 13 over here and 2 over here, then 13 divided by 2, the remainder should be 1. So mod basically gives the remainder of the division. So that comes as 1. Now we have one more operator here called the exponentiation operator. Let's try that. Let's put uh, a as 2 and b as 10. So this basically means 2 to the power 10. So the value of c should be 1024, which is basically 2 to the power 10. Now, these are the arithmetic operators. Let's try some logical operators now. For logical operations, we will use our good old if condition in VBScript. So the syntax of if is as follows, if, and then the condition a less than b then message box true else message box false and we close this with end if so this is the syntax of if condition now we're checking for a condition if this condition is satisfied then the message box will show true otherwise it will say false and the condition says a less than b so we're checking if a is less than b let's run this and it gives true because a is definitely less than b. Now there is one more condition which says less than equal to which basically checks for both less than and equal to. So if I just change the a to 10, run this it will be true. If I reduce it to 9, run this it will still be true. So it checks for both less than and equal to. Similarly we have greater than condition and greater than equal to condition. So let's try greater than first. So this is false because a is not greater than b and similarly greater than equal to will also become false. Now we reduce this to 9 and this becomes true because we are checking for a greater than equal to b. So since it is equal the condition is satisfied. Now we also have not equal to b which checks for the similarities between the two variables. So right now if I check this it's false because a is exactly equal to b. If I put a 9.1 now check it, it becomes true. So A is not equal to B. Okay. So these are the comparison operators that we have. Uh, let's try some logical operators. So we have R and let's say we have C equal to test. And let me just put the very value of C here as test. So if A less than B or C equal to test or basically means that we are checking two conditions and we want any one of the conditions to be true or both the conditions to be true. 
at least one condition to be true the entire if condition is satisfied so in this case a is less than b and c is equal to test both the conditions are true let's see what it returns it says true now let's make one of this condition true and the other one false we change the value of c run this it is still true now we make both the conditions as false a equal to b here we are checking for less than b here and becomes false so that's how the OR condition works. The next condition we are going to check, next operator we are going to check is uh, the AND operator. The AND operator says that both the conditions need to be true. If any of them is false, then the entire IF condition is false. So let's try that. It says false because A is not less than B, A is equal to B. So this condition has failed and this is true. We need both the condition to be true. So let's make A less than B. And now we run it. Oops, why did it become false? Oh, sorry, C is different. Okay, so both the conditions were false, so it became false. Now, let's try this, true. So both the conditions are true, only then AND condition will satisfy. Similarly, we have a NOT condition. So we put NOT over here, and we put the remaining conditions in a bracket. So NOT basically inverts the condition that is checking inside the parenthesis. So if both this is true, then NOT true, it will check for NOT and it will come to false. So in this case, A is less than B and C is equal to test and both the conditions are true. So NOT will check NOT true and it will come to false, which is correct. Now let's fail the condition here. So right now we are failing the inner condition. So this entire condition is false. So NOT false will become true. True. Now, similarly, we have a XOR condition. So this basically says that any one condition should be true. Both cannot be true. Any one should be true. So let's uh, satisfy both the conditions. A is less than B and C is equal to test. And run this, it becomes false. Now let's satisfy only one condition and make the other one false it becomes true. So that's what XOR does. Any one condition needs to be true. So these are the lo logical operators in uh, VBScript. Okay, let me just remove this. We're discussing everything in a go. Okay, so now let's try some concatenation operator. So let's try, okay, let me just remove the if condition completely and say C equal to A plus B. Okay, so one more thing we need to understand here is VBScript is not case sensitive. So capital A and small a are same. So if I give message box C, it gives 18.1, which is the sum of these two. But now, if I change this to a string, suppose this is my string. Now if we run, it gives a type mismatch. So basically, on one hand, we have a string operator. On one hand, we have a numeric operator. And we're trying to either sum it or concatenate it. Now what happens when you turn both them, both of these things into string? VBScript automatically concatenates the two strings. So plus can be used as addition and concatenation depending on the value that is stored in A and B. So similarly, we have ampersand operator, which can concatenate two strings. Let's see what the ampersand operator does when we have numeric on both sides. So it just concatenates the two numeric values as a string. Let's put one numeric in one string. See what happens. It does the same thing again. So this is basically the concatenation operator in truest form. The plus can be used both as addition and the concatenation operator based on what values are stored in the variables. So in this video, we have discussed the basic operators in VBScript. In the forthcoming videos, we're going to dig deep and uh, talk about conditions and loops and different, different complex logic. Hope this video is helpful to you guys. Thank you.